Let's do a little bit of programming on our golf cart. This is a 2024 Evolution Classic. First thing is to get under the front seat and look for the programming plug. That you're gonna find probably in a wire tie or somewhere around this area. And this is the plug. I'll show you how we connect the cable. This is an Evolution controller. This is the cable I purchased. It's pretty easy. This end goes into the programming portion of the controller. Make sure that the connector goes over the tab. That way you know you have it plugged in correctly. Take my word, this is an Evolution controller. Each year model carts are different. So keep that in mind when it comes to the program and also the cable you'll need. For this year model, I use the EV48400C program. Keep in mind that each year model may be a little different. Now that we have the cable connected, first thing we'll do is turn the cart on, select connect. This is on the last tab when you bring the program up. We'll go to the home page and we actually see some numbers moving around. That's a good indication that it's connected. So why are we here? Because we want to make the cart go faster. So a couple of areas to change is how fast you can turn the motor. And what Evolution has done is in this area right here, you'll see that the maximum value is 6,000 RPMs. It's gonna go as fast as these numbers here allow you to change. The next area that we're going to look at is the accelerator tab. So in here, these forward acceleration tabs, you can increase. What I'm showing here is maximum is 100, and I started out with 25, 30, 30, 40, 40, 50, and 50. So these were a substantial bump, and all this is is how quick it's going to accelerate. I wanted to also take advantage of the regen braking. So these numbers here is where you can change your regen. So in this example here, this is eight, and then the maximum is going to be 100. So if you want a little more braking, we'll change that to nine. These numbers you're gonna to have to experiment with. And what this is, is the values associated with the RPMs of the motor. I noticed that this number here, or we'll say that this number here is five and it should be six. So I've noticed when I was using regen braking that there was an area that it felt like it wasn't regening correctly. So I mistakenly previously programmed that as a five, but we'll take that up to a six. Because we made the small changes, we wanna select set. Now I know all carts will be different, but in my example here, objectively, I wanted to increase the RPMs. And as you see, I have 6,000, which is the maximum value that you can select. So when I first did this, I noticed that the dealer did some programming for me before delivery. And I noticed these values were already set, but the cart still did not go faster than 25 miles an hour. So I didn't know if that was it, or what else I could do. And I kept hovering around this tab called standard gear mode. Now first you think, well, there's no gears in the cart, but the reality is there is, and I'll show you right here, there is a high low switch. That's not really a gear, but in this tab, follow me, for high gear, this area here is where I had to set this to 6,000 RPMs. This value here is selected as low speed. So this RPM here allows the car to only do 13 miles an hour when you select low gear. It's pretty intriguing that there is a gear icon on the switch. Let's look again. So I guess it stands to reason that in this tab is where you also have to increase your value. Now that I bumped that up to 6,000 RPMs, the cart will do about 28 miles an hour. Now, if you're concerned about not making a mess of things, then the first place you probably want to start at is this 
parameters export and that'll create a file of all your settings. So you could possibly do that first and then make your adjustments. But what I've done is I went and did a screen print and saved the uh, JPG file and that's how I captured the original settings. The other area you can look at is any faults that may have happened under the tab historical faults. Now a lot of folks say don't mess with things or they use the term around and find out. But so far I've been messing around and I haven't yet have any faults. Am I lucky? So in a sense, that's basically the things that I did to the cart in order to just increase the speed and the acceleration. As you see under the accelerator tab, these values here is where I changed to give you a little more acceleration. Okay, I know this is quick and right to the point, but there's not much more to it. I didn't have any problems with getting the software to work, getting it to recognize, I'm not going to get into any detail about the software or where you can find it, but you can find it and then just follow all the prompts that you see in the, in the zip file. And we'll go here right quick. Follow all the prompts in the zip file. There's a few other uh, pieces of software that you must ensure that it's in this folder. Once you do all that, I had no problem hooking up my cable to the controller. All right. Now let's go out and give it a go. Thanks for watching.